Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to episode number 10 of Rebellion. That is right, we are in those double digits, ladies and gentlemen, and I couldn't be more happy and excited about that. We've got a fantastic show tonight. We have two tag team tournament matches for you here in Des Moines, Iowa. But first, we have got Kid Hades making his way down to the ring here shortly. He is, well, he has something that he feels he needs to share with SWF. But uh, right now, before he makes his way to the ring, Ryan Adams is coming down. Now, Ryan has had um, quite the roller coaster of things going on with him. On the, uh, let me, let's see here. Let me look here through my notes. Um, Ryan Adams, I believe his last matchup may have been on the pay-per-view. May have been on... Uh, I've forgotten the name of the pay-per-view. For Pete's sake, Capital Combat. Good grief. I believe it was Capital Combat. Um, and Ryan Adams did get the victory there. So he is... He is kind of on the up and down right now. This man, as I mentioned, Kid Hades, making his way down to the ring. And as you can see, he looks quite, quite different. Now, he has something he wants to say to you people. He's got something he wants to say to the board and to myself. So we're going to give him that opportunity here before his matchup against Ryan Adams unworthy he has deemed himself so let's allow him to speak and we will start this matchup shortly after that when i joined this company I had one mission. That mission was to gather subjects in my realm of Hades, sending the soul of every wrestler I defeated to the underworld. I was going to make SWF the Valley of the Lost Souls, and I was doing a good job at it. That was until Calypso gave me my first defeat of crowning achievement. Then, he cost me a loss in a tag match. Then a no name defeated me. I have lost my credibility. I was three and five, losing to Calypso another time. But then something happened last rebellion. I beat Calypso. Alas, it was too late. The crown had slipped out of my grasp. I am unworthy of being a god. The god of all you sheep in attendance and the ones watching at home. I've become a lesser being. Hades isn't the same. Hold on is no longer allowing me passage through the river of sticks. He says I am unworthy of being a god. Unworthy of ruling the underworld. Unworthy of sending people to Hades. Even now I feel my godly head seeping from me. But this, this is where everything changes. From here on out I will change. I've consulted three fates, Atropos, Lachesis, and Clotho, and they have granted me wisdom. In order to regain my godhood, I must prove that I am worthy. I must be crowned. So it doesn't matter who has a crown in this company. You will go to Hades. My path of redemption is now. Well... Those are some um, pretty hard words to hear out of somebody when they, they've deemed themselves unworthy. But Kid Hades guarantees us and promises to us he will start his uh, start his path to a to the righteous goal. Of course we know all goals here in SWF. They all end in the same place, and that is with an SWF championship now unfortunately kid hades missed his window against calypso and as he said got a victory against the elite champion but it was too little too late 
And now we are seeing, um, we're going to see the rebuilding of Kid Hades, I believe. But Ryan Adams, he is really putting the screws on Hades right now. Oh, stops the kick and hooks him up. Snap suplex. Fundamentals. That's right. Fundamentals are going to help you get victories here, especially when you're having to start over. Ryan Adams up into a Falcon Arrow. Very nice move there from Adams. Oh, shot to the face. And a big knee to the stomach. Looked like Adams was possibly going for a DDT. Now Adams catches the kick. Oh, single leg Boston Crab. He might be under those ropes. Didn't, maybe not. Ref didn't uh, call the rope break, but Hades was able to get out of it anyway. He's got, oh my goodness. Big shot there, Ryan Adams. Into a backbreaker. Oh, he held on to it. Into a second backbreaker. My goodness. And Hades, that's just smart right there. Dive, rolls out of the ring and misses the elbow from Ryan Adams, but catches the big right hand, sending him to the outside. Adams now missing the knee. Oh, so does Hades, and it looks like he's going to pay for it. They're going to go up the ramp. Now, this, is a, this isn't a Falls Count Anywhere matchup. This match has to be won inside the ring. And both of these guys better hurry before they get counted out. The ref, I believe, is at five. Six now. Hades has Adams up, and what a knee that was. Big running knee to the face. And a drop kick. He is just working over Ryan Adams. A drop kick, excuse me, a leg drop, and a knee to the face. Is he going to? Oh. Okay. He could have gotten the count out victory right there, but the unworthy kid Hades has decided that is not the right way to start his new journey. Rolls out and breaks up the pin, or excuse me, breaks up the count. Shot to Ryan Adams. Holy cow. Right up there on the stage, or excuse me, on the ramp, a flipping senton. Oh, goes for the knee again. Ducks the clothesline from Ryan Adams, and oh. I believe the ref might be at nine. Big knee and a draw. Both men are counted out after Tyler at, or excuse me, Ryan Adams was blasted with a knee by Kid Hades. Man. Well, folks, coming up next, we have got the first matchup here of two this evening in our tag team tournament matches now in the last episode we had uh, aggression dino d and sdc defeating the hounds of havoc which were mahati khan and mateo making their debut now due to one of the members of aggression deciding to leave swf that was dino d Aggression has, of course, been removed from, from this tag team tournament. And Hounds of Havoc have been deemed a second opportunity. They have been given that opportunity to face off against Prodigal Romance here, the Prodigal Son, the Prodigal Ryan Riley, Lance Romance. They've been given the option, or not the option, they've been given the opportunity to redeem themselves. They did get a loss in their in their SWF debuts. As we can see them making their way to the ring, Mahati Khan here. He, as well as Mateo, they are getting that second chance. So, can they get the victory? Will they prove that they deserve to be in that title hunt? And will they be able to to defeat Lance Romance and Ryan Riley. 
as they you see Riley and Romance walking around the outside. Let's see. Let's find out if these two men are going to redeem themselves. Hounds of Havoc, ladies and gentlemen. Mateo on the right. Mahadi Khan was on the left there. Lance Romance going to start this match off with Mahadi Khan. And this thing is getting underway. Center of the ring and a big shot by Khan. Sends Romance down to the ground. What an uppercut that was. Now unlike... Oh, oh. Oh, stomping the head face first into the mat. Unlike Uprising, where every tag team match is a tables match, this is a normal two-on-two -two tag team matchup. The guys on Uprising have a... have a little bit more to, to prove... I don't want to say to prove. They have a opportunities to do things that these guys do not not only with tables but ladders and chairs and anything else they can get their hands on these guys are in a straight up fight look at this up oh what a reversal by Khan and a kick to the stomach double underhook gonna drop him oh nice roll over there into a second suplex and following it up oh face buster Nice move there by Khan. And he is stalking Lance Romance now. Dropping the leg right across the knee. That does not feel good, folks. Not at all. Belly to belly. Good Lord. Turning Lance inside out. Wow. And Khan not letting up. He is going to toss Lance into his own corner here into some sort of uh, arm drag and a drag of his own is Lance over there close to Mateo he's gonna work himself out of that Lance tagging in oh nice boot tagging in Ryan Riley here and immediately showing off is Ryan Riley he's, these guys want to win this matchup want to win this tournament and we'll see if they're able to pull that out Khan dragging Riley over to his corner before tagging in his partner Mateo he makes his way into the ring for the first time this evening stomp to the leg he's gonna pick Riley up look at this up and flapjack oh my goodness chest and face first his arms not stretched out to try to cushion the fall. Lands face first on the mat. Nice uh, double underhook move there. Big drop kick to the face from Ryan Riley. Recently, SWF released the top 10 and bottom 10 of SWF based on wins and losses. Ryan Riley not happy with where he stood in those rankings as a single competitor he is uh, yet to win a matchup oh nice northern lights and a kick out before one not happy with his place as a single competitor but will he get the victory here in, in tag team action we will definitely have to see they have, uh, in the last episode of Rebellion, were beaten by the Cleaners in their first matchup as a tag team. Into the corner, look at this. And, oh, what a tag team move that was. And Lance falls right into a Northern Lights. Two, no, kick out at two. That was uh, some pretty good tag team together, and working together, and oh, man. The hot tag, here comes Mateo. No, goes for a drop kick, but Lance shuts that down in a hurry. And now Mateo's all alone for the time being as Mahadi Khan has rolled outside the ring. Lance gonna bring his partner back in here. Pulling Mateo up. Look at this, hooking him. Oh my goodness, and going for the pin at the same time. 
Just a two count there. And Ryan Riley is gearing up. Got him, got him hooked. Oh, the magic eight ball. And he is going for the pin here. Oh, just a two count. He's gonna toss him into the corner. These guys, this is great tag team action right here. Fundamental tag team action up on top and Riley gets caught with a clothesline and the double birds from Mateo. Oh man. Oh, big shot there and a second. Ducking the clothesline and a jumping clothesline from Mateo. And oh, he's gonna take a shot at Lance Romance. Back body drop onto the apron. That might be a smart move on Mateo's part. He's gonna bring Riley over to his side of the field here. Tag, tag in Mahati Khan, and now we are gonna see a tag team move. Look at this. Oof, right on the knee of Ryan Riley. That is gonna be felt tomorrow in a big cutter there from Khan. Let us see, what, what's he going for here? Elbow drop. Mahati Khan looks to be in control right now. Oh my gosh, the commentator's curse. Ryan Riley hooking him up. DDT and just spiked him. Khan was almost vertical. Look at Ryan now hooking that Riley Plex. Geez, just tossing him over. And going for the pin, he's in his own corner. No, Khan is able to kick out. Dodging that drop kick. Khan needs to get things going back on his side of the ring here. And it looks like he's gonna do just that into the corner. Oh, and a reversal from Riley. Reversal from Khan though, right back out of it here. These guys really going back and forth for him to the top of the back area. Look at Khan, wow! A spinning Michinoku driver, what a move. And the hot tag comes in to Lance Romance. Takes a shot, he gets him with the shoulder block. Khan back up to his feet, drop kick again. And this time dodges that second drop kick. Romance was on a roll there. Got him in, well, I was gonna say powerbomb position, nice arm drag reversal. Going for the pin, he's under the ropes. And by his tag team partner, I'm not sure. Lance knew he was under those ropes. Look at this, got him set up, gut wrench. Oof, just totally just tossing him. The ladies love them, some Lance romance, and they are showing it right now. These women are going wild for this man. Lance calling him up, oh no, a jawbreaker. And Mahadi Khan has got fireman's carry move there. Very nice. Not letting Lance catch any kind of breath. Into the corner he goes. Oh, big shot to the rib cage. Big kick, man. Romance putting it all on the line. Look at this. Oh, big pile driver spiking the head of Mahadi Khan. And look at Ryan Riley up there. He is. Uh, he is really having some troubles on the apron as Khan is busted open. Woo! Just tossing. Just tossing Mahdi Khan. And now look, Lance Romance has got him up. Oh, reversal. Looked like he was possibly going for the romantic driver. Oh. Mahdi Khan distracted by by Ryan Riley here. Back into the ring, the blood coming down the forehead and a reversal from Lance, got him up into a back body drop. Nice move there. Lance might need to bring in his partner and just as I say that, he tosses him into his own corner there. But reversal from Khan and now Khan's gonna send Romance into his corner. Oh, the ref goes down. 
The ref goes down, and that might not be good for this man. What a sequence of moves there from these guys. Center of the ring, going for the pin. One, two, and Riley's gonna break it up. Hops out of the ring. Mateo does reach for him, but misses. Super kick from Mateo. Oh boy, that might be it. Goes down for the pin, one, two, and no. What a pin breakup by Riley as he's got Khan. Oh, nice suplex there. Kick to the stomach from Mateo, up into a brain buster. And again, going for the pin. One, two, and just like that, ladies and gentlemen, the Hounds of Havoc have redeemed themselves and they are moving on in this Rebellion Tag Team Tournament. That is quite surprising to me. They are, of course, in the finals now. They will face the winners of our second tag team title match, or excuse me, our tag team matches tonight. The original outlaws, Lewis and Luke Luger, are taking on the hit squad and James Lanza and William Parker. But for now, we celebrate the victory. Look at that, that, oof, magic eight ball there. We celebrate the victory here for the Hounds of Havoc. Luckily, we had what happened happen. Aggression had to drop out due to a member leaving. And Hounds of Havoc, ladies and gentlemen, get a second chance and capitalize on it. They are in the finals for the Tag Team Championships here on Rebellion. Your winners, ladies and gentlemen, Mateo and Mahadi Khan, the Hounds of Havoc. Well, folks, pretty great job by Hounds of Havoc to punch their ticket to the finals in what was just a, a sheer lucky opportunity. But good for them. They are moving on. And at Thin Red Line, they will be in that matchup fighting for the uh, uh, Rebellion Tag Team Championships. But first here tonight, ladies and gentlemen, we haven't seen this gentleman in quite some time. I think it was... Rebellion number, hmm. I don't even know. I'm going to have to go back and look here. But it has been some time. Rebellion number four? My goodness. Surely we've seen him since then. Showdown episode four, where he took on Leo McKay. So it has been a while since we've seen Evelyn Reeves. We're creepily making his way to the ring. And he is fired up to look at the speaking of fire. Good grief. Good grief. So Evelyn Reeves, as we can go back on the first episode of Rebellion, I believe. Might have been the second episode. I believe it was the second episode. Leo McKay was taking on Ryan Riley. Leo McKay got the victory. And Evelyn Reeves came out and attacked him. They ended up facing off against each other on Showdown, where Leo McKay did get that victory. But Evelyn Reeves still winning, taking his opponents to the limit. And um, I don't think that's going to be any different this time as he faces newcomer we have yet to see this man here in SWF newcomer Ray Lorenzo he has been uh, while he has been on the roster for a few weeks he is now making his SWF debut and he looks, oh boy he's cranked up the boy is ready Jumping into the ring, good grief. Nice moves there. Maybe we will get to see some high flying action here from Ray Lorenzo as Evelyn Reeves 
wanders the outside area. The fans are ready and Reeves looking to add another win to his column. Ray Lorenzo looking to add his first win and immediately he's gonna send Reeves onto the outside. What a move. Lorenzo hops out and begins stomping. Reeves is not somebody you want to take lightly as you never know what is gonna happen with this man. Face first off the apron. That's the hardest part of the ring right there. Into the turnbuckle, Reeves' head, my goodness, ear first, right into that turnbuckle. Jawbreaker now. And look at this. Oh, he is hooking up Lorenzo and spinning him over, he's up to six. The ref is up to, oh, kick right to the, the buttocks. And now he's gonna toss Lorenzo over. The ref is at eight. You guys need to get back into the ring here. He's gonna toss Lorenzo in and at nine, Evelyn's gonna slide back in. Very close, just cutting it very, very close to the to the cutoff there. I thought for a minute we might have our second draw of the evening. Kick now to the face of, of Lorenzo. Off the, off the ropes and he catch, catches the knee. Look at this. Look at Lorenzo flipping power bomb. Nice sunset flip bomb there. And whoa, a reversal from Reeves. A reversal right back from Lorenzo and he kicks out at one. Wow, a little quick back and forth there between these two gentlemen. And Reeves is hung up on the top rope, slung out to the center of the ring by Ray. Snapmare and oh my. Just from the bottom up, cranking on that face, and that is the, a beautiful looking German suplex. I'm surprised Reeves didn't go for the pin after that. Got him hooked up though. Over into a neck breaker, wow. Nice move there from Reeves. Standing moonsault. And he's gonna push Ray down and go for the pin. That's a, not a bad idea. Not even a one count though before Ray kicks out, but Ray did have to expel some energy here to get that kick out. Up to the top goes Reeves and goes for a stomp and misses, lands up on his feet and Ray hits him with a kick right to the stomach. Oh, went, cut, went for a sidekick there. Reversal from Ray though, forearm shot. Oh! Big standing cutter from Ray, and he's just gonna pick Reeves up immediately, and he really, Reeves delivers a clothesline to the rookie. Reversal and kicks his knee out from underneath him. Kick to the stomach, Reeves hooking him up. Oof, what a DDT that was. The future shock, and Reeves now fired up. He is getting Ray Lorenzo set up. Into the corner he goes. No. Into a dragon whip suplex by Ray. He is not gonna, he does not wanna lose this matchup, his first matchup in SWF. He is trying his hardest here. And Reeves, again, standing moonsault. Possibly going for the pin. No, he picks Lorenzo up. Sends him across the ring into the corner here. And from one side to the other, just gonna work the back as Lorenzo hits those turnbuckles. Nice jawbreaker. Oh, stunner from Lorenzo. Folks, that might be it. He's gonna hook the leg of Evelyn Reeves here. No. A kick out at two and Lorenzo's expression and mannerisms tell it all. He could not believe that. Middle rope Phoenix suplex, or Phoenix splash. Jawbreaker though from Reeves, and a big knee. Stops Reeves, dead in his tracks. 
Oof. Jumping up on the elbow there. Forearm shot. Look at this. Oh, it looked like Reeves might might have him ready for a power bomb, but a beautiful hurricane runner from Lorenzo. And again, working the arms of Reeves and going for the pin here. One. No. Just a one count. And Lorenzo looks exhausted, folks. And he very well may be. Reversal. Oh. Not a reversal. Chopping down Evelyn Reeves. And now instead of going for the pin and the victory, Lorenzo pumped up and showing the crowd just that. Look at this. He is calling Reeves to his feet. Kick to the stomach. No. He went for the stunner, it looked like. And Reeves pushed him away. Look at Got him up. Oof. Into a pile driver. Evelyn Reeves Lands him with that Omega Driver. One, two, and just like that, Evelyn Reeves, ladies and gentlemen, gets the victory over the newcomer, Ray Lorenzo. My goodness. In the end, getting dropped on your head is not a fun situation. But not a bad showing for the rookie. Big stunner right there to Reeves. But in the end, as we see, he reverses the second stunner. And now Reeves goes for that Omega Dragger, has him up, and drops him right down on his head. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, Reeves is your winner. Don't get discouraged, young man. Ray Lorenzo will come back and you'll get it. You'll get that victory, just not tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, Evelyn Reeves. Well, folks, we have a tag team matchup right here. It is a semifinals matchup. This will determine who goes on to Thin Red Line to face the Hounds of Havoc. And I am pretty excited to see how this particular match turns out. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing first. This is Lewis. This is Luke Luger. Lewis Luger. Luke, of course, as you can see, your internet champion. This is the original Outlaws. I'm very interested to see how they handle the hit squad, which is James Lanza and William Parker. Now, assuming that the hit squad somehow does not get the victory here tonight, Ryan Adams has requested a two-on-one handicap no holds barred match falls count anywhere against the hit squad based on their matchup on showdown last week where lanza slid a chair in distracted the ref and parker just blasted ryan adams he is not he was not happy about it so if and that's if the hit squad do not win here tonight at Thin Red Line. They will get their matchup against Ryan Adams, or I should say Ryan Adams will get the matchup against them as he has requested it. The original Outlaws, ladies and gentlemen, in the ring. Luke on the right, Lewis on the left. Omari Williams has uh, wanted to ask for his rematch against Lewis Luger, which has been granted to him on the next episode of Rebellion. But before we can get to the next episode of Rebellion, before we can get to Thin Red Line, we've got to get through this tag team matchup and a couple more after this. James Lanza right there. William Parker standing up in the ring. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the hit squad. As I said, the winner moves on to the finals of the Rebellion Tag Team Tournament. We will crown our first set of tag team champions. 
unlike, as I mentioned earlier, in the Hounds of Havoc versus Prodigal Romance matchup, these are just your normal two-on-two -two tag team matchup. Center of the ring, and Parker's going to start this thing off, but it quickly gets reversed by Luke. Oh, my goodness, what a snap German. Nice move there. Shot to the back. Luger now. Well, I guess I can't say Luger if they're, they're both, both named Luger. Big shot to the stomach of Luke. Oh, wow. Cross body and just punches to the face. Now, Luke Luger ended up winning that internet championship. Oh, okay, William Parker's going to take the turnbuckle off here. After Lewis Luger calls Tyler Jordan to tap out with a, some sort of a torture rack modification. And that guaranteed a new champion. Well, that new champion was, or is, Luke Luger. But how's he going to fare in tag team action when there is someone on the outside that can prevent him getting the victory, that person being James Lanza? Reaching, though, Lanza misses. Look at this, got, oh! He's gonna drop Parker right down on the back of his head. Parker really needs to get out of this matchup here, or at least out of the ring for the time being. Harmon's carry, oh! Knee to the gut, drops Luke down to his knees and just starts blasting away. Parker now back into his corner and he's gonna tag in the Hitman. What can James Lanza do here? Now this could be good, this could be a good strategy. You keep Luger, you keep Luke Luger from tagging his partner. And at some point, oh, big double ax handle to the back of the head. At some point, if you keep tagging in and out, and you keep the tired and weary man in, well, you might just get a victory. Lanza now taking Luke, oh, nope. Looked like he was taking him over to the corner, but he's gonna hit him with a snapmare. And he tries to grab that arm, but Luke not having it. Big right hand to the side of the face. And he's got him up. And, oh, what a driver. Backslide pile driver of some sort delivered by Luke. He's going to get Lanza up to one knee here. Hooking him up. Oof. That was a pretty stiff kick right to the cheek of Luke Luger. I'm sorry, of, of James Lanza. And Luke, oh, big sliding knee right to the side of the head of Lanza. And now look at Luke, he is going in, and he tags in his brother. And what are we gonna see here? Up and down with a back body drop. What a tag team maneuver that was. First move of the match, Lewis goes in, and just like that, ladies and gentlemen, a knee to the face of William Parker. The double team move delivered to James Lanza. And that is how that is gonna end, wow. You can see Luke jumps out but quickly gets back in as the pin is being made and hits Parker, look at this, bow. Knee to the face and just like that the match is over. My goodness, that was like a five minute match. We might have to add some stipulations to the, uh, to the Rebellion Tag Team Championship matchup just to keep these guys from Demolishing Hounds of Havoc, my goodness. Well, folks, pretty pretty decisive victory. Original Outlaws is your winner. What a quick, quick tag team matchup that was. But from that, folks, we are moving right along here. And as you can see, the lovely Barbie Versace making her way down to the ring. Now she hasn't had a match in, uh, in I think she's had once one before here um, on Rebellion. She is going to be taking on a newcomer to SWF. Her name is Candace K. So let us see 
what Barbie, Versace, and Candace K can do. Now, Barbie's last match was on Rebellion um, about five episodes ago against Beverly Willis, where she got the victory. That was her debut. Well, tonight she is battling another person debuting. Let's see if Candace K can keep up, or is Barbie Versace going to get the victory? Barbie holds uh, titles in multiple federations. How long before she holds the Maidens Championship here on Rebellion? We would have to see. Just at you know, Veronica Haas holds that title at the moment. Somebody's uh. Somebody's got to take it away from her first. She right now is the only and longest reigning Maidens champion. But making her way to the ring in the pitch black, apparently. She is brand new, as I've said, to not only Rebellion, but to SWF. Ladies and gentlemen, taking the place of Malaysia. Malaysia is uh, no longer with SWF and Rebellion. In her place is Candace K. And my goodness, this is the first time seeing Candace, and she is making her way down. Glitter everywhere. This is a pretty nice entrance to tire. Gotta say, that looks really, really good. But this game is all about how you perform in the ring, not how you look on the way to the ring. So let's see if Candace K can get a victory here in her debut matchup. Not too many people have been. And, I mean, when we first started this thing, oh man, a lot of episodes back, a lot of people were making their debuts, but let's see if Candace K can get the victory here. The fire goes off, my goodness. Oof. She is a wild person. Look at her. She has gone crazy. Look into the eyes of Candace K. They seem a little glossy, a little, a little frosted over there. My goodness. This woman is crazy. What? Yeah, I said she's crazy. Barbie Versace. Candace K. She is fired up, folks. Let's see what is going to happen here. They meet center of the ring, and Barbie's going to start this thing off with a headlock driver. Dropping Candace right down on her face, and another driving her face hard into the mat there. Boy, Barbie pulling out all the stops right away. She's going full blast, and she wants to get this victory out of her way. Oh, my goodness. Into a dragon suplex, or yeah, not a suplex, excuse me, dragon submission there. Knees to the face, though, of Candace. She's going to catch a flatliner. What a move. I used that move myself. Candace now going up, lining herself up. Oh, Barbie started moving, so Candace thought better of it. Probably a good idea. Not to springboard in at that moment. Nice reversal, though, from Barbie. Oh, man. Another into a headlock, dropping her down, and just put, cranking up that arm, look at this. Oof, my goodness, could have broken the arm of Barbie right there. Boy, she is really targeting the arm of Barbie, and a kick across the chest. Oh, went for that little short DDT, but Barbie delivers a big knee to the gut. Oh, double leg DDT. Nice uppercut there. Candace K. Oh. I was going to say trying to do her best to get the victory here. But Barbie quickly, quickly putting things back in her corner. She is able to get the momentum back on her side. Kick to the back here. Oh, just the one count there from... Candace K being able to kick out. Oh, Barbie's saying, wah, wah, you crying? Let's see how Candace responds, and she does with a big knee right to the face. She climbs up to the middle rope, looking to perform something, and Wise, Wisely gets down. 
but punches Barbie in the face and she heads out to the outside. Oh, look at this. Candace is calling Barbie up to her feet and misses with the diving clothesline, but catches her just in time. Face first into the apron, good Lord. And the ref begins to count, wheelbarrow neck breaker, nice move there from Candace. She's gonna pick Barbie up. Oof! What a spinning neck breaker, we'll call that. Into the turnbuckle, Candace sends Barbie. Holy cow. Are we gonna see this newcomer defeat Barbie? Ooh. Who knows? Barbie, as I said, has only had one matchup before against Beverly Willis, which she won. But this is not Beverly Willis, that is for sure. Candace now tossing Barbie across the ring. Into the corner she goes. Oh, shoulder blocks. Right to the gut. Oh, nice reversal though from Barbie. Is she gonna get back into it? No, into the in the other corner here. Big chop from Candace. Barbie though with the shift and revert. Oh, went for those kicks. These ladies are back and forth totally. Spikes Candace K with that DDT. She was almost straight up in the air. Big knee right across the face. Barbie now, she's not playing around. Look at this. What's she doing? Pinning down the, oh, stomping on the hands of Candace K. Good lordy. Beverly now, nope. Candace with the reversal. These ladies back and forth with each other. Oh man, into a fireman's carry gut buster and Barbie's gonna roll out, probably to save her own skin there. Candace is gonna wait inside the ring. Nope, out she goes. And Barbie catches her on as she turns around. Look at this. Oof, back first into the barricade. Old green shirt there is getting an eyeful. Back into the ring goes Candace. Barbie slides in now. Look at this. Picking her up. Ripcord knee right to the face. The money moves is what she calls that. Nice reversal though from Candace. Might have gone for the pin after the money moves, but Barbie picks her up looking to inflict more damage possibly. Oh, what a spine buster that was. Jeez. Oh, what's this? Barbie. Calling Candace K up to her feet. No, reversal. Candace with a shot to the back of the head. And another reversal from Barbie here. Spinning her around, is gonna toss her all the way across the ring. Possibly give her a taste of her own medicine here. Oh boy. She's got Candace up on the top rope. This can't be good. Up she goes. Top rope Frankensteiner. What a move there from Barbie. She's kept trying to catch her breath. My goodness. Very rarely do you see moves like that from the Maidens. Boy, Candace absorbing that kick. Spinning heel kick to the stomach. Michinoku driver. And Barbie is laid out. Candace going, possibly going up top. Yes, she is. What are we going to see out of the newcomer here? Up. Diving stomp right to the chest of Barbie, and she goes down for the pin, too. No! I thought that was 3-2, Candace K. I thought that was 3-2. Barbie kicks out at the last second. Springboarding in, nice tope. And immediately goes, picks Barbie back up here. Snapmare. Oh! Right, elbow right to the forehead. Look at this. Setting her up. Bam! The schoolboy kick. Flawless kick, she calls that. Ooh, man, look at this move. Jawbreaker, golly, that is a devastating move right there. One, two. No. Surprising after that onslaught of those handful of moves there from Barbie. I assumed she, was, she would get the victory there. Uh-oh. Get her up, the red bottom stomp right there, driving Candace's face right into the mat. 
She goes down for the pin. One, two. Wow. Wow. Candace K not ready to give up. Barbie has got to be getting frustrated, I would think. Double axe handle, no. She moves out of the way and a big clothesline to the back of the head of Barbie. Candace now sending Barbie into the corner. Oof, jawbreaker there. Kick to the stomach. Oh, look at these just brutal kicks and then almost tossing Candace clear out of the ring. Barbie is getting worn out, that's for sure. She doesn't seem to be done yet. Snapmare, good lordy. She's going to hook her up. Oh, she's got her in some sort of submission move. Well, that was pretty interesting from Barbie Versace. Look at this. Oh, flipping her over, but no. Candace is going to punch her way out of it. Candace loves those turnbuckles, sends Barbie into the turnbuckle once again. And then Barbie, again, with the reversal. Big shoulder block. Oh! Knee to the arm. Code breaker from Candace K. Out of nowhere, that thing is just came flying in. Got her up. Blue thunder bomb. She, no, doesn't go for the pin, surprisingly. Instead, looking to make a statement here in her her debut matchup and that might cost her right now money moves from Barbie and that could be it no Barbie not going for the pin this is quite surprising quite surprising I think that neither one of these ladies really going for pins here after their finishing moves look at this oh Leg drop DDT, wreck a bitch is what she calls that. And I would assume she goes for the pin and she does. Ref gets down one, two. Oh my gosh. Candace K is a beast, ladies and gentlemen. Barbie going up to the second rope, calling Candace up to her feet. And Candace dodges it. Man, oh man. Barbie's throwing the arsenal here at Candace, and she is, oh, double knees to the gut. Barbie is just totally getting frustrated, I'm sure. Throwing everything she can at Candace, and then responds with elbows across the forehead. She's going to pick Barbie up now. Set her up. Has her up for a power bomb and delivers. And again, not going for the pin. Okay, Candace going back up. Are we going to see that double foot stomp again? It sure looks like it's setting her up. And drops the double feet right across the gut. Probably knocking all the wind out of Barbie. And just like that, Candace K, ladies and gentlemen, wins. Her debut matchup, wow. I gotta say, that was a bit unexpected. Candace K getting the victory. We're we gonna see here, Barbie showing some class, saying, hey, I was new once, great job. Shaking the hand of Candace K, that's pure class right there. And she's gonna exit the ring and let Candace have her moment. Well, folks, here's your winner. It is Candace K. Well, folks, the next matchup we've got on our hands is a big one. I'm really, really interested to see how this is going to play out. Introducing first our Rebellion Elite Champion, ladies and gentlemen, Calypso. I'm interested to see what's going to happen here with Calypso as he takes on Leo McKay. Calypso has defended that title. Well, he won the title at Crowning Achievement, defended at Capital Combat, as we heard Kid Hades talking about earlier in the night. And now he's got a matchup against Leo McKay, who came down to the ring last week, possibly distracted him. Who knows? I don't know what's going on in the head 
of Calypso, but Hades ended up getting the victory in that matchup. So let's see what's in store here for our elite champion. Well, folks, Calypso stands in the ring waiting uh, for, what is this? It looks like Leo McKay is, is injured. Calypso wants the ref to go get him, come into the ring or count him out. And what, I don't know what is uh, what could be wrong with Leo McKay. But it looks like, is Leo McKay bringing somebody else out here? And it's Jay Green, folks. It is Jay Primetime Green. Looks like he is going to be taking the place of Leo McKay. I don't understand what's going on. Leo, not really, not wanting to to get into this matchup with Calypso. I mean, last week Calypso had a match against Hate Kid Hades. Leo McKay came out and just was a distraction. Came out at the beginning of the match, sat ringside, and then. Halfway through the match or so, when Calypso went out there to confront him, Kid Hades took advantage and cheap shotted Calypso. And now he's playing these games, it looks like. Leo McKay, we know, is not injured. He came out, though, holding that arm. And looks like he's got Jay Green trying to come in here and do, do his dirty work for him. Jay Green, or Jay Green, Leo McKay. In cahoots? I mean, who's gonna pass up a shot at the at the elite champion? I mean, this could be a huge opportunity for Jay Green, assuming he may get the victory over your rebellion elite champion. I don't know, let's see. Calypso though, fighting champion he is, he's gonna take this matchup. He's going right after Jay Green and Green hooks him up. Look at that, nice back into a hammerlock. And he's gonna push the champion away. Oh man, what a jumping neck breaker that was. And Jay, it's, man, he is really putting the screws to the champion as he gets out of that move. He's gonna hook him up and boot right to the face. Oh, shot to the back now of Jay Green. Champ picking him up, got him into with that headlock, and just a big knee to the face. Is Calypso really? I mean, he might take out his aggressions and his frustrations here on on Jay. Look at this butterfly! Oh, right into those double knees. Jay Green may not know what he's gotten himself into here, and he is ready to go. Whoa! Tossing Jay across the ring. He's gonna pick Jay up by the head and a big shot by Green to the champion. Oh, but the champ delivers one right back. Has him up and a big knee to the, sh to the shoulder. Uh-oh. Jay coming across the ring. Axe kick, holy cow. Right to the back of the head of Calypso. Nice move there. Up to the second rope, and a diving forearm right across the bridge of the nose. He goes down for the pin on the champ, but no, just a one count. I wonder what Leo McKay is playing at here. Oh, big elbows to the chest. Leo comes out faking an injury. I mean, is he really injured? Holy cow, what a running knee to the face of Green from Calypso, my goodness. Clipso's got him up center of the ring, and here it is, folks. The Cosmic Clash. He puts Jay Green down and goes for the pin. One. Wow. Just a one count? Just a one count. That is insanity. He's got Green up, picks him up, and look at this. What a move. Calypso now making his way up to the top. And you know what that means, folks. It might be time for the falling star, and he lands it. Dives on green for the pin. The ref is down to count two, and just 
like that. Leo McKay thought he could come in and throw Calypso off his game, and it looks like Calypso has derailed Leo McKay's plans, whatever they may be. Leo McKay feigning injury, so who knows what he's got up his sleeve. As we take a look, look at this. Bam, face first, goes green. Then of course, following it up, 6.30 Centon, he calls out the Falling Star and gets the victory. Catch another angle, my goodness. One, two, three. The Calypso, folks, takes Leo McKay's challenge and throws it right back in his face. Your winner, ladies and gentlemen, is your elite champion, Calypso. Well, great matchup there from Calypso. As I said, he took Leo McKay's challenge and defeated Jay Green with extreme prejudice. He does not show that he is disappointed. I'm sure he was in not facing Leo McKay who came out faking that injury. Or he may not be faking. We'll have to check back and see what's going on with him. But folks, time for our main event of the evening. As you can see, ladies and gentlemen, this is Veronica Haas. She's removed the face paint. And I don't know if this is the, and just another side of Veronica. We'll definitely have to see what this means. Is she the same old Veronica? Or is she something different? Either way, she is the Maiden's Champion and look at that title, that thing is humongous. That thing is humongous, but she's wearing it. She is the current Maidens Champion. She won that championship at uh, Crowning Achievement. And now she's gonna get her opportunity to face a new opponent. Where before she faced off against um, Selena at Capital Combat. And let me get back to my records here for previous, um, the previous one where at Capital Combat, or excuse me, she actually faced off against Jessica after Jessica defeated Selena. So Jessica faced Veronica Haas at Crowning Achievement. Then Veronica faced Selena at Capital Combat, and Jessica is getting another shot, it seems. She makes her way to down in the ring. She's gotta be pretty happy about that. Selena, also another maiden who is no longer with SWF. She has been granted her release after requesting it. So that's Malaysia and Selena. But in their places, we have gotten Candace K. And I'm gonna have to go through the list here. Let me see. I want to say Danielle Jane, maybe, in her place. So we have gotten every time we've gotten an open spot, it has quickly been filled. But folks, Veronica Haas, she is ready. Jessica Santana is ready. This is your main event of the evening, folks. And look at Veronica. Good lordy. Coming right out of the gate at Jessica. That little skirt bouncing all over the place. Short drop kick, hesitation drop kick to Jessica. And boy, Veronica is taking it to her. Got her hooked up here. Snap suplex, nice move there. And right now, Veronica's in control. She is not gonna let anybody take this away from her. Oh, locks her up. Good Lord. What a move by Jessica. Wow. She's Jessica now. Sitting the champion across the ring. Oh, goes for a knee. 
ducks the clothesline. Oh! This too, everything happened so fast. Belly to belly turning Veronica inside out. Wow. My, my, my. These ladies going at it. And that's good to see. I like to see that. Oh, man, Veronica tossing Jessica by the hair. By the hair across the ring. Oh, headbutt there. And brings her back. Jessica pulls her back. That big kick. And shot to the top of the head in a second. She's going to pick Veronica up. No. Forearm stumbles. Jessica. Fireman's carry reversal from Jessica. These ladies going all out, man. Oh, backstabber. Nice move there by the challenger. Big knees to the kidney area, that lower back by Jessica. She's gonna get the champ up to her feet. Look at this, nice Hurricane Rana. That almost looked like she might have been, Veronica looked like she could have gotten away with that power bomb right there. Oof, oh man. Hard knees right to the chest of the champion. Jessica not done yet. She's going to pick up the champ and send her across the ring. Nice reversal into a gut wrench suplex. Veronica knows what's going on around her, knows the consequences being stuck in that corner. Arm breaker. And Jessica's got her up. Oh, boy. Hangs her out. Man, the champ just barely taller than those ropes. Gets hung out to dry over the top rope. And now, big elbows and shots to the top of the head of Veronica Haas. Holy cow. Jessica is brutal. She has proven to be quite brutal. She catches a forearm, though, right there. Oh! What a move there by Veronica. Big knee right to the face. And that might signal the end. And as I say that, she's got her set up. Getting her to her feet. Oh my goodness, Jessica with the reversal. Shot to the back. Look at this. What is Jessica doing here? Oh, backbreaker, a little pump handle backbreaker right there. And taunting to the crowd, these fans are loving it. Kick right to the face. Jessica now calling Veronica Haas up. Attitude adjustment quickly goes for the pin. One, no. What? A one count from Veronica Haas. My goodness. That's quite surprising to see. Because if I'm not mistaken, Jessica's put quite a few people away with that move. Oh, and Veronica's going to kick her way out of this. Veronica now has the champ up. Look at that. Oof. Into that body slam. Wow. As of right now, Jessica is undefeated as she's faced off against Princess and Selena. Won both of those matchups. Veronica Haas. Looks to be five and one, I believe. As she defeated Selena in the last matchup, or in her last matchup. From the top rope, though, Jessica, big arm drag. Holy cow. It's a very smart move. Go for the pin. And again, just a one count? What? That is just. That is insane. Veronica, while this is not a title match. I can just imagine what's going to be held over her head if Jessica gets a victory here. Here we go. She's got her up into a torture rack. Look at this. Oh, torture rack backstabber from Jessica. That might be it, folks. She going for the pin? She doesn't. She instead decides to taunt the crowd. And look at it. What is she doing here? Oh, man. Gets right in Veronica's face before slamming it down hard onto the mat. 
Very slowly making her way to her feet here. Jessica again has Veronica up into a second attitude adjustment. Folks, that might be it. She might have just put the champ away. Oh, my God, and she does. She does it, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. Handing Veronica her second loss here in SWF. Uh oh Veronica's not happy about it, but Jessica's going to slide out of the ring and celebrate. Oh, Veronica just decked the ref. Folks, we're going to have to go. Thanks so much for watching Rebellion. We'll see you next time.